Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. First of all, Happy New Year. This is my very first 2022 video and I'm excited to have another fun year with you guys. Um, so I figured today I'll show you guys what I received over Christmas and I have been pretty spoiled this year because, you know, I am expecting a baby. So, um, you know, my, uh, and the baby is actually due just around the same time as my own birthday. So I think they basically chose to give me a bunch of stuff in advance. Um, yeah, so I will tell you a little bit of everything and how I like each of them and, um, also been doing a little bit of Boxing Day shopping, but not too, too much. Essence has recently um, increased their sales again, I think, to 70% uh, or up to 70% on a number of items, so do check those out. Um, it was overall a very nice holiday, other than the fact that the numbers are going crazy in my region, where I am. So as a, as a very pregnant woman, uh, with a toddler, it's um, it's it's been hard just in terms of deciding what we want um, and how we can best protect ourselves, and you know, obviously concerned about my own um, about the delivery as well as about the newborn stages for for the baby and everything. But I mean, I think we're all going through it. If you're a mom in a very similar situation, I would love to hear from you. Please do reach out through Instagram and we can chat about it. It's sometimes nice to be able to just share these things together. Um, but regardless, let's get on with the unboxings. So I guess I'll start with the biggest one first and that's kind of my most exciting purchase or not my purchase, but gift. This thing I have is from Hermes. And I've been wanting this for a long time. Now you guys know we don't have a boutique in my, my city. Makes everything harder, you know, to, to actually try on and purchase and, you know, having a connection with a sales associate. Regardless, I'm not in the process yet of trying to get a bag or anything like that. But, um, you know, for the longest time I was thinking to buy this or to get this while traveling at this point you know, with the baby coming, not sure when that's going to happen. So I kind of hinted <clears throat> that it's something I want and something I've been wanting for a long time. So my wonderful husband went ahead and got this for me for Christmas. It's our Hermes box. He actually, <clears throat> well, he actually told my parents to, to purchase it while they were there in another city with a boutique a few months back. So, there it is. Well, I already unboxed, but it does come with all nicely wrapped with ribbon and everything. This is the box with a stamp on it. Here is their receipt envelope and everything in there. It's a nice, beautiful orange box. And here's the ribbons that come with it. Beautiful, very luxurious dust bags, I must say. I really love the fabric on these. I just think, you know, they are, they feel luxe and they feel very high end. They have changed the dust bag over the, over the years, but I think the current one is my favorite, like the cotton, very raw looking color. I love those ones. You guys know, very similar to my Louisville and <clears throat> some of the other ones, but these are my favorite. Let me take them out for you guys. Again, this unboxing you've probably seen a million times, but regardless, there are this beautiful pair of orange sandals, Hermes orange sandals in the size 36. There you go. And they have recently, I guess, um, I think this year actually changed the sole into one piece of leather in the same color. Used to be a lighter beige, I think. Um, and I think that's a great choice, well, great decision, given that um, the older one, there were some peeling or over time, the top layer might wear off. So with this now being in one piece and all intact, embedded on the shoes, um, I think it would avoid that issue. In terms of fitting, so the reason my, my parents went instead of um, just ordering them online is, 
my mom actually have very similar sizing with me so she get to go to the boutique and try on a few pair and then decided which one to get and they happen to have this one in so there is I haven't actually examined this detailly myself the one thing I would say though is the sole it's so soft it's like not what I was expecting at all it's kind of like I have other luxury shoe which is more like a smooth plasticky kind of bottom which scratch instantly this one is like such a smooth soft layer of a kind of a raw leather I don't know how you guys feel about it I just feel really weird to step this onto soil or concrete and I feel like it's gonna ruin it right away if you guys have any tips or tricks or ways to prevent that let me know but I guess it's not avoidable really it has a, a, a kind of slightly rubbery part at the end double like two studs here just showing you guys some details and here is the Hermes stamp hope the focus is working this one is in the gold color with a lighter white color stitching around the edge has the code right here uh, stamped on part of the edge right here what else can I say it's more of a square toe compared to the is it the Oasis the one with the heel version that one is more rounded toe I think and this is 36 which is pretty much my size if I put on my shoe my shoe my feet will fit um, exactly to the same size as the sole um, it is a little bit loose on my feet but I, I do have fairly narrow feet um, but I think with the pregnancy and with the summer I think the heat will swell up my feet a little bit I think they are actually gonna be pretty comfortable fit for me because um, like I said uh, it you know if I go any size lower it would be a little small like my either my toes or my heels will be sticking out and I don't really want that either so regardless very beautiful but again it's one of the most expensive pair of shoes I've never actually purchased not me but like my husband <laughs> so it's kind of like uh, and, and it is a slipper after all so I'm a bit hesitant to use them but I know I will just wear them because I mean you know I like I said I want to buy them during while I travel but that might be a while so I'm just gonna enjoy them these will go so nicely with my Louis Vuitton basket bag so I'm definitely looking forward to enjoying both of these things in a few months when everything will be better baby is more grown and immune to things and um, weather will be nicer and all that definitely things to look forward to I'll be very cooped up in the first few months hoping I get an opportunity to record more for you guys but you know things will happen the way they will happen given you know if we even choose to keep our toddler home or not and all that so a lot of things to consider for sure and like I said if you are going through the same thing do reach out and then we can talk about it I also have something from Chanel and I also got two Valentino boxes here and these are um, I'll show you guys later I can do another Hermes one so there is another Hermes purchase and this one has been purchased it online actually um, so he kind of threw me off he, he kind of I assume this was my gift but then later on we had like we um, spent a couple days at my parents so this is the gift that I got unboxed at my parents place regardless so this one is ordered from online and it's different from my previous uh, order from our previous order um, of this bracelet so you can I will link the bracelet video down below but this is um, what he purchased last year for me I think for my birthday and it's this beautiful uh, Hermes click clack um, bracelet in the PM size I still have the back sticker on because I want to keep it protected as long as I can and um, it's in the white with rose gold which is so beautiful I absolutely love this bracelet um, but I also mentioned in the video uh, for my unboxing that I just find it so like the 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 whole unboxing experience so underwhelming it did it only came with a very like basic brown parcel box 
no receipt either. It was really odd. Um, comes in just that little um, container. I can show you guys. But I basically just had some ribbon. Actually, now speaking of which, this one didn't come with a ribbon. I think, which is odd. The other one did came with a ribbon. Um, so the bracelet came with a ribbon, very slim box with a tag. Um, yeah, like very, very nothing kind of thing. And uh, I was very put off by it and I kind of wanted to return it just because I'm like, that, that's not really the experience I want. But I really love the bracelet. So, you know, whatever, I just kept it. Um, so he kind of knew I kind of knew, I guess we both kind of knew what to expect, but this time it actually came with a white box. So I guess they're not always consistent depending on when, where the item is shipped, when you order maybe perhaps. But this time it came in this kind of pretty, what again, it's nothing that fancy. It's still pretty basic, but it does have the Hermes kind of stamp drawing graffiti on it. And it had the receipt envelope like a fancier version of it, kind of tucked in here. It had the orange box tucked in like this, so it came like this exactly. And when you take it off, it does create some, some um, color on the envelope. Once you open it, it does come with another envelope, which has your receipt in it. And it's really funny how last time we didn't get any of this. Return exchange policy. It's a fancy envelope because it has like two layers. And then it comes like that with the actual receipt in it. So it was, you know, definitely better than last time around. But still, nothing to be screaming about. But, you know, it's kind of, um, it's better than... What happened last time I was a little bit more impressed and show you guys the item can you guess it's not quite a like a square shape it is actually their coin purse oh I should take the both take the shoe out as well also in the gold color so okay my first Bastia right Okay, my battery just, just ran out, um, but that's okay. Um, I was just talking about the new corn purse as a part of my birthday gift as well. It is the um, Hermes Bastilla change purse in the gold color. <clears throat> I'll just actually take out my shoe again quickly, just to see the color comparison. Leather is obviously different. This is box leather. Again, oh, I forgot to show you guys the tag on the bag, on the box. Here it is. In case you guys are wondering or you're also purchasing this. Is yeah, box leather. This is in the which I don't think they actually specifies. Nope. Is it on the box? Nope. Yeah, I'm not sure. Epsom lot leather? That's my guess. What do you guys think? I'm not a Hermes pro like I am with, uh, with Chanel, but I think it's Epsom. Seems it's pretty grainy. And if I compare the colors, even though they're both gold, the orange are definitely a little bit darker. This is slightly lighter. I don't know if I have either or preference. Maybe the lighter one is nicer, but regardless, um, this one here, um, my first impression when I first took out a box is it's crazy light. To be honest, I was like, what is this? It's like air, like it doesn't feel anything. When you open it, it has a tiny step right here for Hermes, and it's in the silver buttons here. It's made in France. Um, 
I don't carry a lot of changes, so I honestly don't know what I'm gonna be using it for. I see a lot of people use it more like a jewelry holder or something like that when they're traveling, which I think it's a great idea, um, or for medicine or anything like that. So, um, haven't decided what to use it for, but it's pretty cute. Um, I'm gonna debate on it a little bit, but I think I am end up keeping it. You know, it's kind of cute. So we'll see. Just super light, and I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. So maybe it's best to use to buy the card holder version. Slightly more expensive, but maybe easier to use. I have been using my Chanel card holder lately, and I absolutely love it. I think um, I think there's a reason why the pricing on those. I have it right here, so I'll just show you guys. So lately, I've been using this here it's in the caviar leather with a uh, gold hardware and it's just so there's no wear in here at all even though i have just been using it freely it holds a lot it definitely can can kind of be used as a kind of a mini wallet um yeah if you are still debating on this piece if you're able to get your hands on a caviar version Whatever color you like, go for it because I think it's really worthwhile the money. Um, yeah, and it's kind of, you know, it fits in most of your bags. It will last you a long time. Get it in the caviar leather, I would say. Really, really nice. I have the one without the back pocket, which doesn't bother me at all because it still works just as great. Um, do you need to find the authenticity card? It's probably in the box somewhere, but... It's not in here now, but it is. I have an unboxing video you can check out. Anyways, so my point is perhaps an alternative Hermes uh, card holder, which will allow me like uh, switch between the two items. I think that might be a helpful option for me. So, okay, that's the Hermes coin purse, which I think it's pretty cute, but again, it's not a pricey item per se. Like I think the price on these are fairly okay, but um, how do you like yours? How do you use yours? Let me know. Like, do you really carry it just for coins? I I try to limit as much as I can from uh, my bag if I can. So like, I don't like if I don't have to carry any coins, I I wouldn't. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's do the next thing. This is my... So the next pretty exciting, or I think I was pretty surprised by it because I wasn't expecting it, is my little Chanel gift. This is from my parents, but unfortunately they went um, in November just before they officially launched the um, holiday packaging. Uh, so that and the orange were purchased together uh, around the same time. And... I guess, you know, they know I would, they were fine with, you know, me liking or not liking it, but regardless, it's a little jewelry box. I was also surprised by how small these boxes are and the Chanel received, but nothing, no fancy packaging. I think it had the ribbon, which I put it somewhere, um, but this is the box. And it's in this velvety um, exterior and then the cotton interior. And I didn't even put it back properly, but I will show you guys. It's these beautiful CC earrings with uh, the pearl attached. They're really cute, actually. Let me see if I can put them on properly for you guys. Um, they are very, um, how do you say it? Like... I feel like they do suit me fairly well. Um, if I can pick though, I might, if I'm there with them per se, I might pick the one without the pearl just because I feel like then I would use it a little bit more. Um, but the pearl definitely adds um, something to it and make it so pretty. Um, they are actually quite shiny under certain lighting, but I feel like right now they don't look as shiny. <laughs> but they, they, they do uh, in some lighting. And the size of it, I don't know what to compare to. Can you guys compare to the H on my bracelet? Or, um, 
I don't know what would be a good comparison for you guys. Maybe a card? That might be too big. Like, just compared to the H logo. It's fairly substantial. I think it's kind of, you know, it's pretty big on the ear. Um, but it's a good size. It's a good size overall. I really like it. It comes with a little hair booklet. And that's pretty much it. I will guys show you guys the stamp on the back. So not sure again how focused this will be, but there is a jewelry stamp on the back. And it says, it's hard for me to even see it. It's pretty small. Another thing is these, these stamps actually do sometimes fall off. So you do need to be careful with them, I would say, if you drop them, make sure you take another look to see if they are still there. There are versions of jewelry that are, um, there are one piece with the jewelry, which I think makes a lot of sense, but I think these ones are still those plagues where it's kind of add on afterwards, melted on afterward. And this one says 21, A21? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it says A21 with a stamp V on it. There you go. Again, I'm not sure if the camera will pick up at all, but that's what it says. And um, yeah, they've been uh, pretty, yeah, I, I really like them. I did wear them once <laughs> since I got it, but I like the size of it and I like how it looks uh, with my outfit and my just overall, but very nice. And that's it pretty much. The other items I will show you is actually something I purchased from Essence for my husband and myself. So it's kind of like a birthday gift, oh, sorry, a Christmas gift to myself. I just wanna show you guys quickly in case you're contemplating and making some decisions on those. Okay, so I'll put this away. I'll do a timestamp for each of the items so you guys don't have to scroll through everything to find out. It's actually two belts. And you guys, I think they, for the female versions, they come in the uh, red boxes, but for male, it's in this brown box. So, they're both from Essence. It's a Valentino belt. They come with like, the little care booklets in the brown envelope. This is just to keep it dry. Another one. Essentially the same, I think. They're sealed, so I assume they're careful clips. I'm not gonna open them. But this one here is actually in the silver buckle. It's in, in the dark brown color. It's the larger size. So this is the four millimeter, three millimeter. I can't really tell. But it's a bigger size belt. I ordered in the smallest size that I can find online and it actually works okay like right now but I probably will need to add additional holes but it kind of looks like this. You guys know I already have the Gucci Marma in the gold so I kind of don't feel like I need to buy another gold at this point. And I think it's a pretty nice size for my frame. Again, now my frame is quite large, so it might be different. Another reason is most of their belts are made to be kind of reversible. So you know, like you could easily take the buckle off and then just use the black side if you like. The male versions are, they don't say that they are reversible, but I tried it and it works. Um, so I think, you know, given the discount on these, it's pretty good. I'll probably keep this one. I do like the shiny silver buckle. I think it gives me an uh, opportunity to use it with some of my shiny hardware handbags. And as a comparison, this is the one I got to my husband. That's how small the logo is in comparison. And again, same thing, this is, but this is fully black. So you guys can tell like a slight difference in color between the two as well. But I think it's a very nice subtle color for, for guys. Yeah, so this works for him. And then I got this one for myself. They do, I also got a gold version, brush gold version for my mom. 
So those are available as well. Uh, Essence probably have these sold out mostly, but you can keep checking, add them to your wish list and keep checking them, they might pop up. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. And I would like to share more with you guys in the coming weeks for other possible uh, Boxing Day sale purchases and other things that's coming my way. So I will be talking to you guys very soon and there are still a few things that I haven't done the comparison, the initial reviews and all that. So stay tuned. But thanks again for watching and again, Happy New Year and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.